Ladies, men, guys, and boys. Number two, the guys. The guys are everywhere in our, in our culture. So the guys are men who work like men do. Men who don't live in the basement of their mother's house playing video games at 30. Those are the next ones. Guys are masculine enough. They have jobs, but little jobs. They have a car, but a little shitty car, right? They live small, but they're masculine enough to do life. They work. They're part, participating in the world just typically smaller than men do. When the wheels come off with those guys is when it comes to relationship and women, they do this. They've been raised or shamed by the culture to not lead in women, not make plans, not be assertive, right? That's toxic. Well, they actually are masculine enough to be able to be in good relationship with women. You have to kind of bring the man out of him, which is easy to do. Those are still good characters and they're everywhere. So something you want to learn how to spot and also manage because they easily just pop right up. You just have to know how to use the language on these guys.